Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 246, strobochromatic number. Uh, the way we'll be solving this problem is by using a hash map, which will be used to map these numbers that look the same, um, at even if you flip them 180 degrees. So let's get started. Um, to be able to do that, obviously we need a hash map. So let's uh, create one. Uh, let's and let's store it character to character. We could also do something like um, integer to integer, but since like the parameter that's given to us is in string, you could just like e extract each of the digits as a character without doing any kind of conversion. So I'm keeping it this way, but I'm sure those methods are fine as well. All right. Um, so you need to, once you have the hash map set up, you need to add the characters as well. So let's call like a, like a helper function. Uh, you don't really have to uh, just so that the code is cleaner, so private void helper doesn't really take any arguments. All you're doing is you're adding uh, the the values that we care about. So map dot put. So let's start with all of the digits from the beginning, right? So zero zero looks the same. Um, when you flip it, one eighty. So let's do that for all the all the digits. So we have that for one. Uh, And then we, so two doesn't matter, three doesn't matter, four doesn't matter, neither does five. Six matters as on like six and nine look similar when you flip them um, upside down. And then um, seven, no, eight matters. So let's add eight and eight. And then the last one is nine and six. Wait, so I think that should, be all um when you're creating um, adding characters to a map you could possibly as i said like have it here as well but um when it comes to like coding during interviews it's nice to have like a um like division of responsibilities for each method and it looks cleaner as well so it's better to have it this way um once we have that set up uh we can go through uh, the main problem itself so uh, what are the things that you need first you need to get the length of the the string that's provided to us so let's get that so i think like the one base case that we need to handle is if length is equal to one uh, so let's do that so if um l equals one there are a couple of things that we need to take care of um so if there uh so i think there are two test cases so if uh map can so if the map doesn't contain the first character contains key let's just say i just extract the character right here and let's call it char a uh, current char and since it's just one we need to look at just one letter which is num dot character at zero right so if if the map doesn't contain the, uh, the current character that we're looking at so basically it doesn't look the same um, so you just return false, return false. And the other test case that you need to test for is that even if it exists, right, you need to make sure that um, the character that it matches to is the same so that they look the same when you flip it on like 180. So map.get current character should be actually equal to the current character. So in this case, it works only for characters like uh, if it is not equal, um, you return false. Otherwise, you return true. We could actually like simplify this, as in like only if it is the same, you could return true. Um, but that's fine. Huh, actually, yeah, let's let's just do that. So, so only, but we need that check that it exists or not. Um, so let's just have that check. So I think we could possibly simplify it as in like where you check map contains key current key and the first condition that we need to check that it does exist and um, and even even if it does exist you want to make sure that um, the character that it is that it matches to is the same as in if it is zero uh, then it's fine but if it is um, a six I think that's fine too uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's fine actually. 
Um, all right, so let's get back to that. So if this is we return true, else we return false. And now that we've handled the uh, the, uh, the base case, uh, we go for like the meat of the problem, which is um, actually looking at all of the numbers. Let's use a while loop here that looks at like, so we have two pointers that go from right to left and we compare digits and then we have into j equals seven minus one. And then for the while loop, you need to have while i is less than or equal to j. Uh, one obvious question is why do we have need it to be equal? So the string that could be given to us is it could be uh, like an odd, uh, could be an odd length as in like the middle digit could be five, right? But that wouldn't be a string that we care about. We would have to return fa false in that case. That's the reason why we need to check the middle digit as well. So uh, I think it's the same case here as well. So if map contains key uh, can, so there are two checks here. Um, so let's say character is equal to num dot character at i. And this is j. Right. Um, okay, so if map contains key current character, actually, like, let's do it other way. If map doesn't contain a, um, actually, let's just simplify this and like, or if map doesn't contain b, we return false, as in like, okay, so those characters, both of those characters should exist because they need to match, right? So if it is not the case that they both of them don't exist in the map, you would return false. And then after that, so map dot get a should be equal to uh, b actually, so the second, second character. So if map dot get a is not equal to b, you return false, right? And in the end, once a while loop is done, if we haven't returned false yet, that means everything matches. And then in the end, we return true. Right, so I think that should solve it. Let's revisit this case. I don't think we need this part. Yeah, I don't think we actually need this part. So if, as, as long as it exists, I think we're okay. So this can actually be simplified to return map that contains key. Yeah. And we can just remove this. So basically for something with one length, what you're checking is that if it does, if the one letter uh, character exists in the map, as in even if you turn it like uh, 180 degrees, like it should still be fine. Um, or it should be the same. That looks the same. Okay, now that it's fine, it looks the same. So actually, I think we do need that check. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we do need that check. So basically, since we rotate it 180 degrees and it should be the same number, uh, if we rotate six and nine, it won't be the same. Nine and six won't be the same. So we actually do need that check. Okay, awesome. So let's try compiling this and see if it's okay. I don't know why lead code has been super slow today. Huh. Oh, of course. I haven't like. So you increment um, i and decrement j. So let's try that again. Obviously, it's a while loop. You need to increment and decrement from both the pointers. All right. So the first few test cases pass. Um, so the output is false. It should have been true. Uh, wait, okay, so yeah, I think that was the missing part. So get, get character is equal to, equal to current character. Yes. So let's try that again. Okay, that's awesome. Cool. 
So let's talk about the space and the time complexity of the entire solution. The space complexity of the, uh, of the solution is of one, since we aren't, aren't taking a lot of spaces like the constant space that we're taking, and this won't in, uh, like increase in size at any given point of time. And the time complexity is of n, since we are using a while loop and we have to iterate through all of the characters in the string. Awesome. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you can think of a way of uh, simplifying this problem, also let me know in the comments below. I um, would love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I would really, really appreciate that. It keeps me motivated to make more videos. Thanks so much. And I'll see you folks in the next video. Peace.